set with the challenge by both Joe the Rolling Scripts and David Yates is to be to creatively push the envelope and use the technology to aid that. We had some very specific things that Joe had written in the script, but we also had like Newt's Hospital where it was maybe a bit few more background creatures that we could go on a, some of the same journey that we did with the case. But one of the key creatures was the, uh, the Zulu. You know, it's fairly specifically written as like a Chinese tiger-like creature. One of the animation artists built it and started animated it and got it moving. And then really it was a, a voyage of discovery, working out how it would move, how it would look, how, what its, its tail would be made of, etc., etc. In the script, it described it as it runs a thousand miles a day. And Tim and I were always like, my God, you know, wow, how, how are we going to describe that? How are we going to show that? So we came up with a, maybe the idea that it could magically leap and bend time, distort space time and land in a different space so it could cover a lot, you know, a large distance very quickly. You know, it's over a year's work just for that one moment in terms of concept and working out how on earth to do it. Nagini. The moment has come to take our rightful place. Nagini appearing when we read the script, we went, oh my God, Nagini's a woman in, in this, this film, not a, not a snake. And we wanted to come up, try and come up with a kind of authentic way to turn a woman into a long tube. You know, how are we going to how are we going to do that to make it feel, you know, real? And we came up with the idea that really maybe she's con almost consumed by the snake rather than physically kind of extending out. You would have coil her being wrapped in her own coils, disappearing and then coming out as a snake. So we had a contortionist, another so Claudia Kim who played Nagini. We um, showed her, obviously, what we were planning, and she um, acted the first portion of the shot. But then we had another co a contortionist in who was, um, you know, dressed in a, a matching costume, and she did the first portion of the shot. So it's for real, she bent over backwards and, and put her head through her own legs, got shot elements of Claudia Kim kind of pushing herself along the ground and turning her head up, matching kind of a previs that we had done which then was glued together with a full CG version of the human character and a full CG snake. So again, all in all, that's about 14 months worth of work for that one moment on film. I don't think you've seen a, a woman pulled into a wall and turn into a snake before. Um, so it's really just trying to how to get those moments over, but as I say, feeling as grounded and real as possible. We just wanted to make it feel like what would happen if you were actually physically there watching that happen, rather than it feeling like an effect. Um, and that's what I think the technology gives us the, the ability to do now. The wizarding and non-wizarding worlds have been at peace for over a century. Grindelwald wants to see that peace destroyed.